Hello my loves, it's Anya here and welcome to my new video. In this one we are building a super super tiny and cute tiny home. A boat home so it will be on the water on a lake and I love the end result so much and I'm so happy I have the time now um, to record this video because I think you will love it and I'm so excited to see uh, to hear what you think about it in the comments I would love to see you use this lot only if you like it of course I would love to see you use it as always in the description box there will be a hashtag the hashtags the hashtag the sims fairy lot and I would be so happy to see you uh, using my houses, especially this one at the moment. Um, just uh, link me in Instagram or Facebook or no, not Facebook. I don't have, have Facebook, <laughs> but Twitter and Instagram. Um, I would be so excited. Here you can see I figured out uh, the layout, how I wanted to, to make it, how I want to uh, have the lake you know um, the thing in Sims 4 obviously uh, I think now everybody knows you can't make lakes or ponds anymore you just have to use a pool and make it yeah just make it like that like it looks like a lake um, yeah I just uh, put it a lot of flowers there but later on, I, I changed a little bit of the um, a little bit of the uh, on the size of the lake on the pool. I changed it a little bit because I thought when I make so many flowers on one end of the uh, on the right side of the build, how would a sim? go to the entry and I didn't want to make the entry in the front because I thought it would look a little nicer when it's on the right so you will see in, in a few minutes how I deal with that and what I did I also made uh, some uh, put it there some trees and a lot of flowers as I told some bushes I really love that and I always use or nearly always use the cheat um, BB move objects on because you can do so much more with it of course you always have to try everything out because often it does not work um, or what I mean not often sometimes it does not work um, The bathroom was really hard. Normally, uh, when I do such tiny builds, I always make make a little section with the bathroom um, in a normal room shape, you know. But in this in this build, I wanted to ch challenge me a little bit and try something new because I kind of thought I always make the same, and I didn't want it to do that. So. I tried to make this um, some little kitchen area and in the middle of the kitchen there is a door to go into a really tiny bathroom but it's completely enough I mean what would you want to have you don't need a bath tub because you have a lake and I think it looks like it might be a warm area where it's not really winter time and still if there is winter you you just can have a little um, hot shower and here I used again the cheat and I, I always press the wrong button that's why uh, the camera flips somewhere else um, you just have to press alt and 9 or or O or zero and you can um, put the bed in the height or wherever you want it to be and that's what I did I created some kind of a loft area 
and I love it so much and I of course I tried everything out the sims can use it it's completely cool they can use everything they can uh, use the stove they can go into the bed it works everything fine and I would love to have a home like this by my own not as a rent but by my own it would be so cool to have something like that of course there can't just there can't live uh, that many people in there but I mean one or two persons can live in there perfectly here I wanted to make something that that would hold the bed I I could have made that better but I tried to figure it out and I I mean that's the best what I could do at that moment um, it's a learning learning by doing and maybe the next time I will make it better but I, I, I really love this build as I told you a hundred times by now <laughs> yeah and yeah I as you can see here I change everything the colors and so and I put it a pool pool how do you say it pool pool stairs no <laughs> you know what I mean I put it in there and you can see it works it does not it looks a little bit dumb but it works so that's cool and here I fixed everything again somehow the bed got lost I recently have some problems that sometimes I think it's for like a week now that I play play build my house and do everything and then I go back into the first floor for example and suddenly the bed is gone or it's or or it's moved to somewhere else in the sims I do you know that problem have you ever had things like that that's a little bit spooky huh seems like I have a, a sims ghost or something like that And here you can see the living area is really small so I thought um, I still want to have a nice couch and this couch here in real life this uh, this this couch would be so silly because it takes a lot of space but in Sims it actually doesn't matter if the the couch um, is some kind of square or like this um, the sims can lay there and sit together uh, they don't have a problem with it but in real in real life I wouldn't choose a sofa like that but I love it in the end in sims it looks so cool I think at least everyone would do it different
as I told you, the bathroom was a hard one. I it was perfect in the in the end and also before, but during my build dur during my furnishing, I had the idea it would be so cool if I could make kind of the bathroom area on the left where I tried this as you can see and put a closet on the right but it did not work um, the sims could not use the toilet or go past the to toilet so in the end I made it like I did it before Then I thought about putting a closet thing here in the kitchen area but it did not work as well so I just changed the TV stand into a drawer to put your clothes in there so yeah it worked out pretty well could have been better but it turned out well As I told you and as you know me, um, I changed the walls again and put some flowers there. I mean, if you, if you would be real, you would know that these flowers on the wall, not the hanging ones, but the other ones wouldn't be that realistic, but it looks nice in the build, so don't tell me anything I love it some flowers here and there and onto the roof and to the lighting I did some lanterns all around the, the boat house because I thought hopefully they don't fall into the water and the roofing I placed so so many flowers on there and I love it so much I haven't seen anyone do that much flowers as I did here but I love it so much I, I always love doing flowers on the roof but in this build I love it so much and I I'm really thinking about doing this in other builds let me think let me know what you think about that because I love it so much and if you like it too then then I will include it in my next videos, in my future builds. And this brings me to the screenshots to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. In the info box, no, that's German, in the description box, you will find the download link. I would be happy if you use it, if you maybe renovate it if you want to, or if you play in it. And the hashtag to mark me so I can see what you do with it and be happy about it and yeah if you like this video then please feel free to press the subscri subscribe button it's totally free if you liked it uh, please press the thumbs up button yeah bye see you in my next one like subscribe